if you're not using productivity tools in this day and age, you're going to be left behind. Today, we're going to have a look at the two top contenders. We're having a look at AppFlowy. We're also having a look at Affine. We want to know what offers they have and how they can actually benefit your productivity. So without further ado, let's check them out. AppFlowy, AppFlowy, AppFlowy. All right, so let's jump into AppFlowy. It delivers an AI powered collaborative workspace. You can manage your projects, tasks, notes, and this can be done across all of your devices and it can be done in a team. So um, you can create Kanban boards, calendars, grid views. This can help you organize all of your information in your way. Maybe you prefer this view, maybe you prefer that view. You can now customize it. You can access it from your Linux system, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android device, whatever it is, you can access it. And you can sync all of those devices. It's um, a fantastic tool to jumpstart productivity with flexible templates for any project type. So if you don't know how to get going, you can actually look through their template library. They've got, they've got awesome templates. You can also see over here, you have 100% control over your data. So if control and security privacy is something that you put high on your list, um, AppFlowy is definitely, definitely a fantastic app. You can run completely offline or self-hosted. Also, uh, you can run Mistral 7B and Llama 3 models locally for maximum privacy, and you can create rich documents with markdown support and local backups. The last thing over here you can see is um, it has more than 330 contributors, all from a total of more than 190 countries worldwide. It has more than 6,000 community members, these are active users sharing ideas. You can build custom solutions with no code or low code architecture. You can create DIY plugins and templates for unique workflows. It's perfect for individuals, team members, um, even large organizations that want total control over productivity systems. All right, let's have a look at a fine. So a fine unifies note taking, knowledge management, document editing, and a whole bunch more in one little tool. It's amazing. It has markdown based editors with um, support for multimedia content. You can also do whiteboard style workspaces for visual thinking and creativity. You can organize with tables, boards, or page views for flexible knowledge management. Again, you can adjust all of this for your specific needs. It has. Um, a offline first system so you can store data locally with selective cloud sync options which is not a bad idea i do like my stuff locally on my device however i do use multiple devices so i do also like my stuff on the cloud so that i can sync it wherever i go you can track changes and revert to previous versions when you need and you can edit and comment simultaneously with other team members this means like literally at the same time. You can also uh, keep your sensitive information secure with very, very strong encryption. The last thing over here is their knowledge graphs. So you can actually build complex information networks with hierarchical structures and backlinks. You can connect with third party tools through plugins and API support, and you can actually move seamlessly from brainstorming to task tracking to publishing. It's ideal for remote teams because in the world that we're living in today, hundreds, thousands, millions of teams are remote. They're broken up. It's fantastic for researchers and creators working across all disciplines. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have seen now that there are many options available. The takeaway here really is to go and try each one of the software that I had featured in this video and see which one works for you in a real life scenario, like actually use it, apply it and see how it actually works for you. If this was helpful, you can drop us a like, and we'll see you next time.